New Media and Communication in France. France has many topics in communication to discuss, but we have narrowed our focus to the following points. We will talk about the demographics of the country and the demographics of internet users. We will then talk about search engines, social media, Facebook, online shopping, and the online travel industry. In 2011, France's population was a little over 65.3 million people. The capital is located in Paris. The main religion in France is Roman Catholic, with 83 to 88% of all citizens being Catholic. Other religions practiced in France are Protestantism, Judaism, and Islam. The official language of France is French. There are also other regional dialects and languages, but they are rapidly de declining, such as Breton, Corsican, and Flemish. The government type of France is a unitary semi-presidential republic, according to IndexMundi.com. There are also specific characteristics of the media users in France, including in 2011 there are about 45.2 million internet users, which is roughly 70% of the country. About 70% of those internet users are un were under the age of 50. Over 18.7 million households have access to the internet, and there's virtually no gender gap between users, with women representing 49.9% of all internet users in France, according to NewMediaTrend.com. Search engine use has become a very important aspect of new media in France. Nine out of ten website visits in France are started by search engine searches. According to NewMediaTrendWatch.com, a study done in March 2010 revealed that out of all search engines, Google France was used about 90% of the time. Bing in second place being used about 4% of the time, followed by Yahoo and Orange. Another study done from February 2010 showed that 29 million internet users in France conducted searches using search engines, and that each person had an average of 76 searches. It showed that Google France was the most visited website in France, followed by Facebook, Windows Live Mail, YouTube, and Orange France email. According to NewMediaTrendWatch.com, 54% of internet users in France claim to have visited a social networking site. More than two-thirds of those social networking users log in daily, and at least 90% of them log in at least once a week. Social networks rank in the top three apps category by mobile phones. Of those apps, Facebook is the most used and is used for the longest amount of time. 38 million internet users in France visited a social networking site in December of 2010. This is more than 80% of the online population. An average of 4.1 hours is spent on social networking sites during the month. The time spent on these social networking sites has increased by 112%. Groupon is the French version of the American group sales giant. Groupon recently launched in France in 2010. At first, it offered well-being and leisure-related products, but due to high demand, it dedicated a section to travel. Their main focus of travel is in France, but it also offers some hotels abroad like in Morocco, Sardinia, and Belgium, just to name a few. Groupon France indicated that they receive an average of 7 million visitors a month. Since social media is very popular in France, it is by no surprise that Facebook has become the most popular social networking site and the second most visited website of all French media. According to TechCrunch.com, in 2008, Facebook launched its French language interface and the site's popularity in France skyrocketed, growing 443% in the first year and averaging about 12 million visitors, surpassing the French native social networking site Skyrock.com. Though Facebook has become increasingly popular in France, there are still issues with its popularity. In June of 2011, according to Daily Mail, a UK online news source, President Nicolas Sarkozy's colleagues agreed to uphold a 1992 rule which states that commercial enterprises should not be promoted on news programs. This means that the words Facebook and Twitter were banned from being used on TV and radio news programs. The only way news sources are allowed to use the words is if they are pivotal and prevalent to the news items. This also means they can't urge their listeners to follow them on Facebook or Twitter. This is something that is becoming very popular in other countries. The law is going to limit French channels and stations from developing an online audience. This is crucial as the world is becoming more technological and news becomes more interactive and digital. 
This could really affect the French new media because Facebook is a dominant website in their country, as you can tell by the statistics we've shared. The major increase in internet use has made way for a successful online economic income. French businesses are getting more and more advantages from a high level of connectivity through the internet. Retail websites established have created more open communication between markets and their consumers, one of the biggest being online shopping. Online shopping has continued to progress exceptionally well in France during the past few years. According to the European Journalism Center, there has been an 11% growth in the number of millions of internet users who have purchased a product or service online. Most of those were women ages 35 to 64 years old. This flock of consumers of the web brought online sales to 38 billion euros. France now has 90,000 retail websites, including 20,000 new sites in just one year. The sector is divided into two categories, with typical e-commerce sites on one hand, like eBay, Price Minister, and Social Living France. Then there are sites that specialize in mail orders, like Amazon. The French not only use internet to purchase retail products, but intangible assets as well, such as using the World Wide Web to plan and book travel plans, like vacations. The online travel market represents 20 to 25 percent of online sales in France, according to a survey of online agencies from the Federation of E-Commerce. More than 6 million internet users in the country during 2011 visited at least one travel-related website daily. Thanks to these visits, online travel websites have increased their sales revenues by 12% in France in the first half of 2011. Businesses promise a quick and easy online transaction to French people, making them feel more comfortable with using their credit cards to make online purchases. French advances in communication have created a more open, firm to consumer marketplace, generating online purchases in a booming economy. France is still very active in the written press, TV, radio, and cinema, but its most recent involvement in the internet has proved to be influential culturally and economically. With such innovative advances in technology, more efficient communication has led to a mixing of cultures and an increase of national revenue.